This is Roger with Wheel Kinetics in Tucson, Arizona. We're selling this truck. It is a 2006 Ford F-350 Crew Cab, 6.0 turbo diesel. It's four-wheel drive. It's also a six-speed manual transmission, um, and it's a Lariat, which means it's leather. Um, purchased directly from an insurance company in Boise, Idaho. Um, it was delivered down here. Had a bunch of mismatched wheels on it. Obviously, that was what was stolen, and it was, uh, and it had some funky aftermarket grill that. Someone had very bad taste, so we changed the grill and it had a broken tail light. So we changed the grill, put some wheels and tires on it, and fixed the tail lights. And that's it. Um, let's see, 146,000 miles. Um, obviously, it's a six-speed manual, so it goes low, first, second, third, fourth, and overdrive. So you got six speeds there. All right, um, we'll walk around it show you what's wrong more than what's right and when I'm ready to drive obviously because it's a manual I'm gonna have to have someone come out here and drive for me now it does have Rancho suspension so I'm suspecting that somebody stole the FX4 uh, stickers off the back to, to try to hide it uh, it's pretty common for them to change emblems and take stickers off so when the cops are looking for it they don't see it um, but we're not going to advertise it as an FX4 um, because they don't have the stickers on it, but it's got the Rancho suspension on it, so it's pretty much a dead giveaway that it is. Hood and bumper, I mean, gosh, very minor. There's a little ding right here in the bumper. Um, let's scrape here. I mean, gosh, for a, for a white uh, one ton truck, this thing looks really good. And uh, I did have a guy crawl under there and look very closely. It came from Boise, Idaho for rust, and there was none. Um, what, yeah, I shouldn't say none, because obviously you could find somebody if you, some if you looked for it, but uh, really hard. But uh, he was shocked at how nice it looked underneath there. Um, so I don't really think it saw much snow. It may have just been registered in, in Idaho. Um, it's also got a cool exhaust. And there is a catalytic converter under there, so it will pass smog. And no, don't be afraid of the exhaust. There's a little ding right here, and I saw another ding right there. The tires are all probably, we had this set sitting in our uh, storage unit, and I would say the tread's probably 50%. And I don't think they towed much because usually when you tow a lot, you have a lot of damage right around here from back into the hitch. The tailgate's got a few little nicks. Um, very common. Tailgate you sure could use a, a bed liner. You could spend $150 on a bed liner and improve this thing a million percent in a tube of touch up paint to get some of this stuff. So if you spent $172 on this thing, you'd probably spend money wisely that would, that's pretty much all it needs the driver rear tire is a little bit lower than the others I would say it's probably 40% 30% tread I'll tell you what though for a, for a big truck this thing uh, is very very straight I'm gonna fire it up and open the hood right here. Another Ford stamp right here. It's kind of hard to see, but it's there. There's your Ford stickers you want to see. There's another uh, Ford stamp there. And one right there. If you want to see those Ford stamps, then you know that nothing's ever happened to the front end of the vehicle. When they're, uh, when they're damaged, they don't replace them with Ford parts because they're more than the truck cost <laughs> to do that stuff, so they get aftermarket. So when you see those stamps there, you know you're good. 
And every now and then you might see a fender, but not cord support. There's a little discoloration right here, but it's not a scratch. I'm not sure what it got there. The carpet looks good. Back of the seat looks good. Perfect headliner. Excellent. Driver rear window switch works. You run through this. Driver window, passenger window, passenger rear window, driver rear window, locks. And there, let's see. Two mirrors. Out. In. Up. Down. And let's see. So this one. Out. In. Up. Down. The driver's side was a little slow, but it was moving. So may need a new motor, a new, new wind mirror pretty soon. They're about 150 bucks when it finally does go out. Seat. Forward. Back. Down, up, down, up, up, down. That works great. Looks like we did a repair here. This this must have been torn right here. I just noticed this. This is definitely our uh, seat repair guy doing it. So it wasn't bad enough to send it to get upholstered. They just put some filler right in here. Okay, there's your miles, 148,349. There's all that here. Obviously they stole the radio, but they were very kind. I see a plug here. Usually they just cut the wire. So you, all you have to do is buy a factory radio and plug it in. There it is. There's your plug, and it's attached. Perfect. Let's see if this works. It's the Rear slider, that works fine. All right, I'm going to have my guy come over here and drive it for me. I'm going to have him unlock the door here so I can try the rear window. Let's see. All right, that switch works. Over here, passenger window fine, door lock good. Let's see. Up, back, down, up, up, down, and up. Let's see if the light comes on. Yes, it does. All right. Drive past your seat looks fine. That's about it. All right. All right, what are we doing first? Let's get the air conditioning on me because it's freaking hot. Four high and reverse. Four high. Or what are we doing? Four high reverse? Four high reverse. All right. There we go. That works fine. That one low. Four high, that works. All right, now we're gonna go to four low. Four low, reverse. <laughs> That's definitely four low. <laughs> uh, yeah. What is the max speed there, Jason? About and half? Granny gear, about two miles an hour. Jesus, that was uh, something, huh? All right, now we're gonna go drive. Um, this is on a salvage title, so if you come to Tucson, we're going to have to get a restored salvage title. 
uh, what, you can't get a, uh, plates or insurance on the salvage title, so that's mandatory, obviously, if you're going to drive it home. Um, we take it to motor vehicles. We get up at 6 in the morning to be first in line. We are required to stay with the vehicle all day. Um, they don't let us just drop them off anymore. That's why it's $200. We charge $200 to do that. $50 goes to state, $150 goes to us to cover the cost of us having to babysit it for anywhere from 15 minutes to 10 hours. Pretty rare to be there all day, but uh, when it happens, it sucks. So, um, anyway, this thing is running great. If you come here, you're going to pay the, the uh, restore fee of $200. You're going to pay a $250 dock fee. And you're going to pay taxes. Taxes are 2% city sales tax here in Tucson, plus whatever your state tax rate. If you're from uh, Alaska, you have a 0% tax rate. So all you're going to pay is 2% tax, $250 dock fee, and $200 to restore. Um, if you're from Arizona, our state tax rate is 7.1. So you're going to pay 9.1% tax, $250 dock fee, and $200 to restore the title. If you pay by wire and ship, if you don't come pick it up in person, you ship. There's no dock fee, uh, there's no taxes. Um, so it's just the agreed upon price, plus if you want us to restore the title before it leaves. I strongly suggest you do that. If you're not going to do that, make sure you call your local motor vehicles, get the person you spoke with their first and last names, just in case you need to kill somebody for bad information. And, uh, Tell them you're bringing an Arizona salvage title uh, due to theft. You're bringing the bill of sale and the truck itself. And that's all you're going to get. And make sure that you pin them down, that everything is fine, and first and last name. Uh, once it's in Michigan, it's a long trip back. It's very expensive to be shipping vehicles all over the place uh, just to get inspected in Arizona again. It's only happened three times in ten years, but all three were very ugly. Illinois and New York twice. It's usually East Coast, but uh, I still give the speech to everybody. Well, this thing runs great. Does the clutch feel good? Got a good clutch, six-speed manual. It's good looking. The, like I said, they were kind enough to leave the plug for the radio, which was very nice. Um, it's got a pretty good set of tires. You know, on average, about 50% all the way around. And uh, there's nothing to report here. Just a nice truck. Please make sure you get a deposit in. Without a deposit, we don't have a deal. Once we have a deposit, uh, we'll put your name on a banner on our website over the vehicle saying that the deposit was received and it's no longer for sale, and that's that. Um, until then, uh, even if we have an agreed upon price, if you don't have a deposit in, we'll sell it to the first person who puts a deposit or pays for it in full. Okay? Uh, that is it. Thank you. Have a great week and a good weekend.